All right, Jeff Morrow. Just so you know, this is about you and everything about you, and you're working with a new <laughs> dog-related project, Caesar, which we'll get to. And I want to talk about the kitchen and the sandwich king and moral provision. And I want to talk about how you're a lifelong Chicagoan. And I want to talk about everything that's in front of you. But CHGO, the hottest new thing in Chicago sports. We're having our first ever tailgate coming up for game three with the Texans. So no pressure on you. But I am cooking something that you're going to tell me to make today for that tailgate. And, um, and, and that's that. That's what's happening here. Or it, it could just be go buy a bag of chips, Carmen. You can't get this done. So whatever you got for me, I, I, I need to know. So, so no pressure, but thank you, Mark. Listen, first of all, let's start here before let's 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 see let's 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 regulate the things. Let's set the barometer here. What is your culinary skill level here? Are you are you a guy who like fires up the grill only during game season, or are you? A daily cook or weekly cook. So, so the whole fire up the grill thing that that's a little too tall. Even I, I'm oh a, no, yeah no. See that uh, yeah yeah. You, you're right. You got to know who you're dealing with here. I make a great scrambled egg. Uh, <sighs> I know. I lo- you know it's so good for tailgates. It's just a bowl of cold scrambled eggs outside <laughs> parking lot. Soldiers Field. <laughs> just sitting there, when steaming that- for maybe thirty seconds, and then the rest of the tailgate just cold as ice. This is a- you're going to be the hit. This this cold egg just just yeah. trick yourself into thinking it's delicious. Trust me, it's so good. What else do I do with the- some foil? I listen. I can get. I I don't know. Can I make a make a dip? Maybe just bring some fruit. No, but but maybe there's something I can do. I can get in front of the grill. I can. I certainly can turn the right. grill on. I can do Listen. this. It's just not going to be. You know, I'm no. I'm no expert. Well, it's a year of the Italian beef. I got some right here at top with. Uh, you know, obviously Jardinier. This is my Marl Provisions Prime Italian Beef Kit, which you can get. You know, right now Chicago people watching whatever ninety nine bucks. It's on sale to the end of the week, but it's um. Uh, all you have to cook is a sausage. If you want to make it a combo, you don't even need to cook anything. If you do it like this, for somebody like you, Mark, who can barely scramble one egg. <laughs> I would really aim low, especially, you know, the third game of the season. We got a lot of game, a lot of season left to improve on those skills. But this is like comes cooked. It's prime. You steep it in the uh, the gravy for 30 seconds. You build it on the bread, top it with the craft jardinera. You're, you're good to go. Uh, all right. I got it. Sausages, put the jardinera on. I, I, you make your own each. Is it once a week that you make your, your own jardinera in the Moro household? No, we don't make. We, we, I don't make it. I can't now. Now that we sell it everywhere, you know, we okay. got the oldest. Okay. Okay. The guy who makes it for us is fourth generation. Though they started the game back okay. in, I believe, fourth gen, fourth generation, probably the sixteen hundreds. Mark, uh, you, you know, I, I should sixteen hundreds, sixteen fifty two. I should I should have known this, Jeff, and, and and I shouldn't be disappointed. But as an old school guy, the one guy in Chicago who's fighting for the Bears to stay at Soldier Field. I liked it when you weren't, you know, the, the corporate guy who, who's, who's got, you know, who's got the... <laughs> oh, who's man, got, right here. Right here. Come on. I live in the same neighborhood I grew up in. I'm wearing a stupid hoodie. My dog's sitting there waiting to eat some, some of this beautiful food here. I'm still in the zone, man. Listen, sometimes you got to grow. Listen, Mark, you got to graduate from scrambled eggs to omelets. You see what I mean, buddy? But you're still making it, still cracking eggs at the end of the day. I, 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 I 100% get it. And by the way, Jeff, for real, congratulations on Thank your you. journey. I mean, you know, researching this, I, there's, you gotta, there's a four-minute YouTube out there on you of just your whole life that you didn't do. This is how Jeff Morrow got there. I'm, I'm curious if they were actually right about one thing. He wanted to be an actor. That didn't work out, so he went to cooking school. Uh, I mean, is is that an accurate portrayal of what happened in, in your journey? Well, no. I mean, I don't know. You know, some, uh, you know, AI machine wrote that, it sounds like, you know. Uh, uh, but I did. I always was a performer, but I always sustained my performing career, which made no money, by cooking. From the time I was 15 years old to Sling and Beefs when I was 14 at the Taste of Chicago to my first butcher shop job at 15 to my first deli job at 16. Like, I've always done it throughout college. I just knew that I was never going to be the funniest, you know, best actor. Uh, I, I can never be, you know, maybe I could be a great chef, but I didn't want to be a Michelin star chef, but I wanted to be the funniest chef in the world. So, you know, I went, I enrolled in culinary school in my mid-20s and, and made it all official. So, and, and a lot of hard work. It wasn't just like, I don't want to be an actor. I want to cook. It was never like that. I'm not that, uh, you know. 
It was way more orchestrated in a long, it was a long journey. I'll put it that way. You were somewhat similar. I think you had a little bit of a better uh, uh, flag planted out in the future, but like to, to sustain my radio life getting going, I was the vendor at Wrigley Field, Comiskey Park, Soldier Field to, you know, because that making 300 bucks there was better than making $6 to uh, produce said radio show. And so it keeps the, kept the dream alive, so to speak. Uh, and, and then, and, but you, you had a better synergy of, 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 of making money and like putting a dream together. So congratulations. Well, yeah, you know, the, the money finally came with that, you know, it was many, many years of not, how did you keep those pipes nice and lubricated <laughs> and fresh by yelling, you, you know, being a bear guy at the stadiums and then doing radio. That does, that seems like uh, counterproductive. Yeah, that, it's a true story. I think I was, I was more behind the scenes than I just had to like maybe spit out a two minute sports report. So somehow, some way oh, I, there you I, go. I, I, wow. I survived, but here let's, 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 uh, when we, before we, get into some other stuff here but tell me who you're working with today i know this is a you're moving into the dog world i love wow. dogs poppy the dog is my favorite dog of all time but i love all dogs so, uh, tell me what's going on over there well it sounds like your poppy is my pino g and jojo i got two dogs we're obsessed with them anybody that follows me on instagram sees i mean the dogs more than ever are a huge part of our life and i'm so proud to partner up with caesar because uh they're the best in the game my dogs are obsessed with their food as much as I'm obsessed with eating food, especially watching the game on game day every Sunday, Thursday, Monday, Saturday, whatever. But what's the thing, right? You're sitting there, I'm eating these beefs, and the dogs are chomping at the bit, right? So I make something exciting, new. And then there, once, that, once that sniffer gets going, you know, when your little poppy does that little sniffer, they know something special is happening in the kitchen. And being a chef, I'm going to craft them. This is the Caesar 7 layer. It's so easy to do, Mark. I know it's, listen, you start with the wet dog food, right? I do the ones with the carrots and the beef uh, and the peas in there. And then you layer the dry dog food on, then the wet dog food, then the dry dog food. And then you top it with their favorite soft treats. And that's a seven layer dog food that the dogs go crazy over. So, you know, I feel guilty, right? The dogs look at you when they want something to eat or want to go for a walk or want your attention. I give into it. Every time. And so if I'm sitting on the couch, indulging, watching the game, cheering on my team, boom, the dog's going to be there right beside us the whole time. So you wanted to make a slightly healthy, yet delicious situation so everybody can enjoy. There you go, buddy. There, there he goes. goes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this beast. Look at him. <laughs> look at him. Is that Pino? That's Pino G. Yeah, he's. He's uh, look at him. Look at that. Look at that strong. Look at that bone structure. That, that's a that's a I don't have Poppy with me right now, but that is a very similar to Poppy situation. I got the Australian Labrador. Is that a lab down there? Uh, what, what it is a, uh, a golden doodle. Yeah, Go- mini golden doodle. Yeah. Who knows? The jury's still out on him. We're waiting for the papers to come back. I don't know. We uh, we rescued him from a family. So he but he's uh, it doesn't matter what he is. I love him. No matter yeah. what he is, his lives, I'm sure as you do with your Poppy there, Mark. I mean, you literally just made all of you two melt with the, with that comment. It, it, it doesn't oh. matter what he is. He 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 he's he's the she he she whatever the lo- forget even the gender. He's the the love <laughs> the, the, the 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 love of my life, uh, <laughs> minus of course uh, you know the, your the, wife and child, right? And yeah, that, that parents is, maybe depending that, on the week. Right, 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 right. We there's a there's some little twists and turns in there that depending <laughs> yeah. on the day. Uh, all right, so let, let's get let's do a couple controversies here. Number oh, one for for Jeff Morrow is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh man, Lisa, can you hand me my guitar really quick, please? <laughs> now you're really getting it, buddy. So now I'm doing uh, I'm doing a charity thing for a new. Uh, it's called Little Kids Rock. It's for uh, underserved communities uh, to donate instruments. It's a nation, the largest nationwide uh, music charity. And uh, uh, so I'm doing some stuff in a, a, a charity event with them, and they wanted me to do – and this is the number one question I get all day, every day, Mark. I'm so sick of answering it. I appreciate the just the, 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 just the glass-cutting journalism that you're providing us right now with that, <laughs> with that, with that hard-hitting uh, question. But I'm just going to do one verse of the song. Get this question every day. Hey, big boy, can you try to settle a claim? Is a 
Hot dog and sandwich. Yes. Go. May. Be so. I don't know, Mark. Who cares? <laughs> I think it's the right answer. And for the record, uh, I forgot that I could spotlight you, but we at least I figured it out for the back end of that that uh, beautiful song. Uh, I, I think the question's moronic, and, but I got to point the thumb here. The, I was asked to ask it, and I asked it, so it's on me. It. it is on me. But so, we made gold. We made gold together, Mark. But you know what? I, it, in all in, in all seriousness, um, yeah. I usually say, yeah, you know, it's bread. It's meat in between some bread and buns. Yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah, okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm the guy. I'm the sandwich king. I should be the, you know, definitive final answer on this. Yeah. So instead, I'm going to raise awareness uh, <laughs> through, uh, you know, uh, music will and, and write some songs. Maybe we'll cut it to wax and we'll get it out there. And this song will not settle the debate. It'll just make people want to. Argue more about well, it, I guess. I, I actually think it does settle the debate. Who the f cares? Seriously, <laughs> like I, I think that's a perfect settling of that debate. Uh, I, I'm, I'm watching some of your YouTube's coming up here. Another controversy. Oh, You'll put pineapple on pizza. Oh yeah, I just did that. I just made some delicious Detroit's uh, Sunday uh, during the game with my son. He likes pineapple and bacon on his pizza. Listen, if it gets him in the kitchen to learn how to perfectly small dice of pineapple and make dough from scratch and top of pizza and control the pan and the heat and cut the pizza. By all means, man, like, listen, I ate a piece or two. I mean, I did triple pepperoni on my half because I'm, you know, I'm a normal person, but I, you know, my son is a 13 year old boy and I'm just happy he's in the kitchen with me. So uh, we're that adorable moment. Number two, uh, any, any, we're not going to have stupid rules when we're connecting with our, with our son. We can, whatever works, but if you're, so you'll let him put ketchup on a hot dog then too. Oh, let's say, Oh, slow down, Mark. <laughs> slow down. That's actually the last verse of that song I wrote. That's like, that's the big finisher. It's just don't put ketchup. I mean, listen, especially as an adult, Mark, you're not putting ketchup. I like ketchup no. on my fries, on my fries only. That's the only thing I put. I don't even put ketchup on hamburgers. I don't like it. I don't like when it gets on my beautiful white undershirt. I don't like any of it. But, and this is another rule, too. If you are going to dip your fries in a ketchup, the fry, the ketchup has to be room temperature. It cannot be cold. And if it comes right out of the fridge, you microwave it 14 seconds. Okay, great on the 14. That's good knowledge for everyone. 100% agree. There's cold ketchup onto a fry. is just a, That's a disaster. Oh, uh, uh, and and to my own credit, if I may, I've been the guy that's learned. You know, a Dijon mustard on a burger is better. It's it's it just it, it, it it's better. It's better. It's better. Um, I, I I do meat cheese bread, and I'll get a nice little. I like a nice like you know Thousand Island burger sauce, mm-hmm. creamy, relishy dipper. But I like to dictate the sauce application to the burger. Most things. I don't want the guy. I, I trust the chef in the back, but sometimes it gets too sloppy. And as you journey through each bite, can lead to compromise uh, a, a compromised texture in the future of that sandwich. I I I, I hear it. Can you I'll take it seriously? I, mm-hmm. I you do, and I actually want to ask you a serious question. There, do you do you do you enjoy uh, the, the diners and drives that that franchise? Do you, do you, like I I I was, was that you trying to get me like, pinched, Mark? What are you I, trying to do? Get me fired? <laughs> okay, all right. I just like you realize I, the guy he's like running the thing from a desk with a cigar. Yeah, you know? yes, I do, but I okay. Man, I mean, he's like picking up the phone. Morrow's uh, done. Uh, Click. Okay, I, I didn't. Of I didn't, course, I'm going to tell you one thing. Yeah. Listen, the guy, the, the guy is a, a legend who still works every day, lives in his town he grew up in, takes care of his family, makes great television, takes care of his crew. Everybody shooting on his well, – are lifelong people from, from the guy miking you to the PA running out for coffee. So if that's a testament to what kind of, you know, yeah. entertainer yeah. he is in, you know, person, uh, you know – He's 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 done nothing but treat me with respect throughout our uh, throughout 
probably the 11 years I've known him so and worked with him. And, and, and that's not surprising considering like a, that's everything you hear about. I, and, I, and it's a bad job by me bring, bringing, him, bringing him up. No, no. And I like the show. Listen, do yeah. I wish I had a show on five nights, you know, a week, five times a night? 30, 40, 40 episodes of TV a week? Yes, that is the goal, Mark. Yeah, and I won't stop till I get there. You're, so will I have to dethrone the king eventually? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can! Get, coming at you, and I, I, I like it. If you're not shooting for the mountaintop, then what are we shooting for? Hey, I, man, I, listen, I, I got it. It's like, but, I, I guess Dragon I, Thrones. What am I watching out with the dragons? That's that's what my life's going to be like. I'm going to... Got to dethrone the Dragon King. All right, let, 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 let me let me bring why I brought it up, and then and we can get on out of here. You, you, when you bite into a sandwich, and you and you and you tell me, oh, the sweet with the savory with the with the the, the, the pickle juice and the and the this, and there's, there's no way that all of that is going out in your mouth. But you're but you're but maybe it is. Maybe I'm just not seasoned enough to be able to enjoy it to the level that a Jeff Morrow enjoys the sandwich when it's when it's pro- properly done and it's in your mouth. Listen, my job is to articulate the flavor of food via a medium such as moving pictures and audio that you cannot partake in live unless you make it at home. That's why we provide the recipes. But I encourage everybody at home tonight when they eat their dinner, when they eat their cold, cold, weeping eggs from Mark, another dinner of just cold scrambled eggs from Daddy. I want your family to take a bite, you yourself, and practice that TV taste, as I like to call them, because it is all about crowbarring as many adjectives into the taste as possible. It's a skill. It's not for everybody. You have to develop it. It's like pecs tries buys, right? You got to work them out until they're big and bulky and vascular. You're going to do that when you take a bite. And you're like, mm, what's the first thing that hits you? Is it the texture? Is it the aroma through your nose? Oh, it's so smoky. Oh, and then that softness and the oh the 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 meat and the intermuscular marbling is so rendered it literally disintegrates on your tongue and then this that pop of peppercorn opens up your taste buds even further to accept in that little bit of spice that kind of lingers not on the back of your tongue not in the way back of your throat but right on the side of your tongue right there to kind of give you a little extra Ooh. I, I, you know, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go render some amazing. St- <laughs> Maybe I'll put an American cheese into this scramble. I'm, I'm stop. learning. You cannot render eggs. You stop it. You got to start with a, you know, pretty tough cut of meat. But that's for the next interview, Mark. No, I, hey, Jeff, sincerely look forward to it. Congrats on your success, and just know, uh, more than anything else. This interview is to invite you to our tailgate. We'd love to have you. I, I'll get the corporate. If, you know, I'm sure there's nothing's for free in the moral land. But if you want to stop on by, maybe, and, if, and if you need, if you need, if you need even a fee, I'll go out of pocket to bring you to, to CHGO Bears Texans. Uh, wow. And, and let, let's get it. Let's get it rolling. Is that a noon game? Is that a noon yeah. game? Noon game. Uh, I get very t- sleepy after 6 p.m. I'm just yeah. warning you. So yeah, 8, 8, 8 a.m. You know, up and early. Uh, we'll, 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 let's, let's, let's get uh, everything rolling. Let's, let's get the jardinera out there. Let's have some sausages. And let's I love out. it. You know, how about this? You message me on the Instagram and we'll talk directly and then we'll, uh, you know, I, we'll I, exchange information. Done, done, done and done, done and done. I, hey, everybody check out Caesar. Get your, get your dog set up right here. Quit, quit torturing your dog with your own. Oh, no, give him the seven layer, bro. Look at that. Come on, Mark. That looks, how I, look at that. That is like your dog sees that they're going to smell it. They're in for it, life. You got a friend yeah. for life, and, and even and more you, so. Yes, and you can look in the mirror and know that you did it right. So exactly. Yes. Uh, all right, yes. uh, Jeff Moore, the, the the sandwich king, and everything else. Great to be with you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark. Yeah.